Good day, fans of Fatwood. This is Bane French of Deevolution. Let's de-evolve a little bit more in this second installment on locating Fatwood. Now in the first installment, I went over several characteristics I look for. A grayish color, mostly lacking vegetation, percusses solidly. With the knife, it has a grippy, chalky feel, and it has those beautiful colors, yellows and ambers, browns and so on. It has that heavenly turpentine smell, and it combusts really well. We're going to go over several more fatwood specimens today, but I have a great specimen right here with me now, right next to me. This nondescript looking limb can be very useful for fire formation. Now the tree is long gone, it's almost non-existent, it's so punky and decomposed, but yet this limb remains pretty solidly attached and percusses really hard. Why? Because of that. As I explained before, at the base of limbs is very commonly because of a pressure gradient as the limb dries and dies, it congregates resin at its proximal section in this crotch. Probably in this piece too is, is solid. So let's go find some more specimens. Here's a large tree that fell over. Pretty far gone. But in that stump section, there's some promising characteristics. It's gray, there's not a lot on it. Kind of punky over here. Percuss is pretty hard here. Let's see. Very little bit, just a few small veins. So, you know, it's solid, there's not a lot of wiggle, but just not a good specimen. Now, if you had an ax, you could probably get a decent amount. As I showed before, these knot sections are really dense with fat wood, like that whole piece would be really good. Here's a decomposing stump. Mostly punky. But what's that? Let's look. See, most of this is pretty punky. But that's really solid. It's not fat wood. I'm really embarrassed right now. It's not just fallen dead trees. This is a large pine that is alive, but it has dead or dying lower branches. And there it is. I can smell it from here. Really good stuff right there. 
Now the very first piece I showed you in the first video is very unusual in its size and its denseness. And those are a lot of fun to find. But chances are you're not going to find many of those. But what we, you will find are these smaller pieces, right, in proximal limb sections or just kind of nondescript stumps like this one. Doesn't look like much, clearly punky. That's solid. And that sure gives a solid report. And there's sections of fat wood there that is almost black. So this whole heartwood piece is fatwood and it goes way into the roots. So again with an axe or even a knife you can harvest several pieces from this. Here's a stump from afar that looks promising. Kind of has a central core there. There's gray features, not a lot of vegetation, but it's really loose and it's brittle. Just falls apart. Perhaps there's some fat wood residing in this stump, but it's not worth the time and effort to find it. Here's something, however, that is worth your time. Similar looking structure. Trying to hide from me under this spruce. The color's good, lack of vegetation's there, and that is brutally solid. The majority of that stump will be high resinous wood. There is so much about nature that fascinates me. Wild game, wild edibles, and wild fatwood. Now I wouldn't judge you if you wanted to buy your fatwood online. It's practical. But it's so much fun for me to find it. Let's check this piece out. I've removed the oxidized exterior and there is some beautiful colors and this piece is solid. Perhaps this is getting a little redundant and boring for which I do not apologize. The more you see the easier it is to recognize patterns and each each structure is very unique and interesting to me. And here's another piece. The sapwood is completely eroding. Yet there's a couple spears of very solid heartwood sticking up. That's undoubtedly solid fatwood. basically solid. Perfect for belly wedging to scrape off Maya dust from this proximal four inches or so. This is a living lodgepole pine that's been damaged. And you can see all the crystallized resin which I mentioned in the previous video that it is very flammable. Not terrific tinder. But in a pinch you could cut with an axe and these superficial layers of wood underneath here will be heavily resin impregnated. There's several things of usefulness here in this old stump. Got some Oregon grape here if you're hungry. There's some snowberry over here if you want diarrhea. And you've got fatwood here, here, 
and then the limb crotches of this old thing. Yet another stump with a solitary whitish spear that I removed the outer coating and that beautiful amber. It's just a dead giveaway. There's another stump I want to show you right through there. Look at that solid core. Let's check that out. Well, this piece is terrific. This whole core here is solid heartwood fatwood. And like the very first specimen I showed you in the first video that had yellows and ambers bleeding through onto that leeward side, this has it too. And you can spot this from afar. And it absolutely confirms that you have a great specimen. So I hope you enjoyed this today and you found some usefulness from it, from these physical characteristics of recognition. Go forth, practice them. Finding native wild type fatwood is a lot of fun. So enjoy your de-evolution process in developing a simple, solid, eclectic skill set.